together mm-hmm. braver is that we really couldn't do this alone. Mm-hmm. Like we need that core network that we mm-hmm. have surrounded ourselves with. Together since 2004. Mm-hmm. Okay. We met at university. U of A. Yeah, it was a friend of mine. She's like, oh, you should come join this group. And I said, okay, sure, try it out. And then that's where Sherry was. And so I'm across the room with a backwards ball cap. For you get to meet someone like you. Yeah, I always knew I wanted kids. I think one of the first things I said to you was, I don't want kids and I don't want a white picket fence. And that was one of the things when I came out to my parents that they were like, that was the first question, like, oh, we always thought you would have kids. I'm like, I still will. I still will have kids. It'll just be a, a different route to get there. I want you to know we can make it together. chose to just use um, a, a sperm bank. We went to the fertility clinic. <laughs> My perception is there's just gonna be a bunch of lesbians there because it's like, <laughs> right? But actually it's not. It's actually quite um, common. It's well used. Well used, like in, in terms of um, having having a family in general. I think straight couples, um, queer couples, they, everyone uses that clinic and the amount of issues I think now after being pregnant and talking to other women, who whether they're straight or not, there's a lot. Just give a little bit of your heart. Give a little bit of your heart to me. The first couple doctors that we talked to were not really on board of supporting our family. They wouldn't give us a referral to the, the clinic based their value. on their, yeah. val- their values. Well, it was a religious, religious values. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They actually sat us down and said they don't want to be our yeah. family doctor. They just anymore. said, we can't support this. We end up just calling the clinic back and saying, you need to make another referral for us, like now, because we want to get things rolling. Because mm-hmm. I had Jax, our son, and Jenny birthed our daughter, Georgia. Mm-hmm. And so then when we switched, Mm. our sperm from my name being the patient to her name we had to go through like just a process of changing names with fees we're like oh that's interesting because we're the same family yeah, yeah. whereas a straight but, couple wouldn't have had to do that but that was probably the one of the first times where we did experience something as a couple yeah but it all works out yeah. because we wouldn't have had the yeah. two kids that we have mm-hmm. today just give a little bit of your heart give a little bit of your heart to me the moment I knew I was pregnant, I felt like a parent. I felt like a mom. And same for me. With like, I didn't birth Jax, but he, as soon as I saw him, like it was instant love. Different. Georgia, it was different because I, um, it was actually a really hard birth. Eventually, when I was like, everything was kind of calm and I was able to hold her, I was like, holy crap, she looks like me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which yeah. With, I didn't have, for obviously, with Jax, right? But with her, it's that like instant, like, yeah, you've got my eyes. They've got an amazing group of, of friends as well, and, and they are just, have never questioned, never, it's just been a natural part of their lives. If anything, the challenges come from when parents are not teaching their kids that this is, this is that families are different, that there's different kinds of families out there. I think even when they go to school every day, they're very brave in, in even just saying, I have two moms. Baby, I just found the answers. Baby, I just found the answers in you. Two loving, caring parents. 